Once again, welcome to Travel Smart Seniors as we now take a look at Prague at night. It is indeed a delightful city and we'll do some flights around the city at night and then go to a couple of events, one very special at the end, so watch for it. We start with a drone flight over the Old Town Square and get some beautiful views of the square. The thing that marvels me most about many of these European cities is that they're so well lit at night and just absolutely beautiful. In the daytime video of Prague, I mentioned how crowded it was in the Old Town Square, especially near the astrological clock, and that is no different at night, as you can see. So our first night out, we decide it's time for a night at the opera, and we get all dressed up and head down towards Charles Bridge just to see what's going on. And while we're there, we start to hear some music and wonder what that is. Well, it turns out to be a guy on an accordion playing Vivaldi's Four Seasons, and he is very, very good. Let's stop and listen for just a bit. Charles Bridge at night is even more spectacular than it is during the day, and the castle on the hill is brilliantly illuminated, and the bridge itself is as well. One thing we did discover on our way to the opera, that there was a very nice restaurant right at the base of the bridge, where you got a view of the bridge and had a wonderful dinner. Now just down the street from the restaurant was the National Theater. It wasn't a very long walk, and we went to the opera The Bartered Bride by Smetna. As with the other opera houses we saw in Budapest and Vienna, it is absolutely elegant. This is a little bit smaller scale, and you notice the people are very, very well dressed, so I'm glad I got out my bow tie. Now there's one very interesting thing I've never seen in an opera before, and that's a lady sitting in the box seat with a dog. Hmm. Well, it turns out the dog was part of the production. And here is the curtain call from the production. And on the lower right stands the dog who had a featured part in the show. Well, there's the National Theater where we saw the show. And I recommend if you've never been to an opera before, Try to get to one, in Europe especially. Uh, they're really quite delightful. So sit back now and enjoy a short flight over the river and the Charles Bridge, and you can see the castle as well. The second night we were there, we decided to go see a folklore show. 
and it was at the Folklore Garden, and I will put a link to it in the description. It was an all-inclusive package and included just about everything. They sent a private car to our hotel to pick us up, took us down there, fed us, gave us a show, and the same private car waited after the show to take us right back to the front door of our hotel. Inside, you walk up a set of stairs to the second floor, and it's extremely well decorated. And then if you look down at your table, you can see that we ordered chicken, and we sat right next to the stage, which was wonderful. The show was a couple hours long, and what we're going to do now is just show you some excerpts from it so you get an idea of what you will see if you go down. Of course, at the folklore gardens, you would expect to see some traditional folk dancing, which we did. Well, they identified our table, and I think we were the only Americans there. it became audience participation time and everybody seemed to be getting involved. When the band got back from their break, they joined the audience as well. The little orchestra was really fun and very, very good. Well, our chicken arrived and it was time to eat as we watched even more fun on stage. I really don't know what this guy was playing, but he was very good. If you know him, you might want to mention it in the comments. Well, there was at least one tune that I recognized. And then it was audience participation time, and the age didn't seem to make any difference at all. Here there was a sing-along, and we have no idea what the words were. Oh wait, I get it, it's La La La. Okay, here's another. I know the tune, but not the words. Hey. 
Well, that wraps it up. This is an event you should not miss if you do have the time to do it. Thanks for watching.